There are people who we at first find to be irksome. The popular thing to do is to say you don't like this strange, new, weird thing. Then enough people get behind it. It reaches a tipping point. Then it becomes unpopular to say you don't like this strange new thing, which has turned to innovative, imaginative, bold, and in the future, culturally iconic of that era. Lady Gaga is named for a Queen song. Like that song, she has a few songs that will live forever. Just Dance, Poker Face, Bad Romance, Telephone, Alejandro, Born This Way. And applause. Lady Gaga is that strange, irksome, risk taking thing. And she is not so weird that she's irrelevant. She will be in the history of culture alongside Casablanca, the Five Point Haircut, the Chrysler Building, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and of course, the Piano Key Necktie. At first misunderstood and ridiculed, now classic advances in culture. There is seemingly a lot to complain about her in attempt to be super feminist and anti-ego, yet still using the same tropes of blatant sexualizing that doesn't much segregate her from the cheapness of music industry creations like Iggy Azalea. But where Iggy is basically defined by her big ass, Lady Gaga is a three-dimensional person, and it comes across in her expression of art. Her use of sex is a choice. The same choice that Lord or Adele choose not to use sex as an aspect of their art. Both choices are legit. Lady Gaga is a true artist that provokes thought. So if that thought is, she is the first artist to be a living embodiment of Dadaism, or if that thought is, what the hell is she wearing? Both thoughts are legit.